Hi folks, Doc here. It's a gorgeous day in Ontario for a change. It's beautiful out here. It's bright and sunny. I mean, I'm standing in some shade so you can't really tell, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. It's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a light breeze. It's beautiful. This is really the first time in a couple of weeks I've been able to stand outside in a t-shirt with any kind of comfort. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, anyways, I'm out here plotting and scheming and putting a parts pile together because I have a bit of an announcement to make. What have I got going on? Let's find out. <laughs> Extreme close up. Oh, there you have it, folks. What's that? All right, so as some of you are aware, the Altrain Lawn Tractor Forum is hosting a build off competition. Uh, this is the third year in a row that we've hosted that competition. Uh, and I've finally decided I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. Now, uh, I had planned on actually entering the Bannerman project, but when I changed engines or changed engine plans, I effectively disqualified myself because the Bannerman project will no longer be using an OPE derived engine. Uh, it's not a tractor engine, it's not a generator engine, it's not... Unfortunately, I've disqualified myself from that project entering the competition. So I figured with everything else being what it is, maybe I'll just sit back and chill out this year and, you know, enter something next year or something. Uh, and then this little puppy landed in my hands. So here you have it, folks. I am building what I call the Diesel Weasel, and this is going to be a Rat Rod Mini Mo Kart. So we're starting off with this Viking 5 horsepower Mini Mower, um, year unknown, I'm guessing mid-60s, but there's no date on it anywhere, and so far my Google searches haven't been very conclusive. But here's what you're looking at. Uh, you're looking at a Mini Machine, and you're looking at a 10 horsepower Yanmar Diesel clone. Um, that does not fit in the chassis. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I really don't. Uh, so anyways, just to step you through some of the bits here, I'll bring in a little bit closer. Okay, so in order to qualify to start, I need to post a picture of my parts pile with the sign with the appropriate data. There is the appropriate data. And my parts pile is not complete, but then again, it doesn't have to be. Um, the rules basically dictate you just Post whatever you're starting off with. So here's what I'm starting off with. Uh, I've got that Viking mini mower machine chassis. Uh, I've already stripped the belly pin and the transmission out of it just to get it out of my way. Um, not quite sure what I'm doing with the rear body work yet, but doesn't matter. There's the machine, there it is. All right, moving on to the power plant. We've got that Yanmar L100 clone diesel. Uh, it's naturally aspirated and I think it's gonna stay that way. It is too big to fit in the space provided. I honestly have no idea how the hell I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it. Why? Because I am a stubborn son of a bitch. Anyways, other key factors in this uh, include a live axle. It's a one inch live axle with a three quarter inch step down on either end. That's something I had kicking around from days gone by. Um, I think I acquired it in a trade um, not sure of the width yet. I might keep the three quarter inch step down or I might just cut them off and stay with the one inch. Figure that out later because I don't have my hubs yet. Those are supposed to be coming in in a few weeks. That's a maybe still. All right, so what you're looking at here is a Comet Model 40 CVT that's continuously variable transmission. Uh, some folks know it as a torque converter. In all honesty, torque converter is not really the proper technical definition of one of those things. Uh, it is a continuously variable transmission. Uh, it starts and engages at a low range of 2.43 to 1 or something like that and goes up to 1 to 1. So as far as a single speed rig goes, you know, it does give you some ratio selection. And here is one of the belts for it. I have two belts in two different sizes. And uh, I'm probably going to use this one. That is a genuine Comet part, and the CVT is genuine Comet. Um, I've got a couple of sprockets here. I'm sorry about the shadowing, folks. It is actually quite bright and sunny out here. There's not much I can do about it. I've got a couple of, couple of sprockets there. Uh, one's a 40 tooth, one's a 48, I believe. 
Um, not sure which one I'm going to use yet because I haven't done the math on the ratios and quite frankly I might not use either one of them because I have more kicking around I know it. Uh, there's a six inch mechanical, or a six inch mechanical, there's a six inch brake disc, uh, one inch hub size. I've got a couple of those too, it's got a little bit of surface rust but that's okay, that'll polish off. I will probably use this one even though I do have a couple more. I also have not one but two jack shafts. I think I'm going to need the longer one of the two but I am going to need a, long, a jack shaft for the CVT to span the frame. Um, between fitting the engine in there, which I don't know how I'm going to do, and fitting the CVT in there, which I don't know how to do, I'm pretty reasonably sure I'm going to be humping mechanicals as I'm driving. Uh, the last little bit here was another leftover, as was one of those jack shafts, from the go-kart I built my kids a few years ago, well, several years ago now, and this is the brake caliper and the brake master cylinder from an old Yamaha motorcycle. Uh, it was an 88 Virago XV250. There's the bracket I used to mount it to the go-kart. Uh, I fabricated that myself. Anyways, uh, gonna have to get some new pads because they're kind of worn, but the caliper is still good. The master cylinder is so, still good. So I believe this thing is going to have juice brakes. So you'll notice looking at the parts pile here that I've got no wheels and tires because I haven't settled on them yet. And uh, the body work kind of remains to be seen. Um, I'm just going to let you know now that the hood and the cowl and that stuff is not getting painted. Uh, I'm going with the uh, going with the rat rod theme and I kind of like the patina that's on here. I'll probably just uh, give it a little bit of a wash and a clear coat to protect it as it is. And I, I kind of like this vintage steering wheel so I'm going to stay with the vintage steering wheel. Um, not completely sold on the seat yet and I don't know about the rear body work so I don't know about the wheels and tires I don't know about the seat and rear body work uh, my biggest problem right now is trying to figure out how to fit that big son of a bitch into here and right now I don't have enough vertical height so I might have to do some screwing around anyways um, I do of course as you know have multiple projects on the go at any given time as per usual and that's kind of like how I like to work is I'll work on something and you know I'll hit a point where I need some parts so I'm waiting for parts or I'm waiting for inspiration or maybe I've burnt out on a little bit and I need to give it a break for a bit. Anyway some of these back burner projects that have been on hold for quite some time such as General Mayhem my racer uh, and Reactor my go-kart are going to be making a reappearance soon because I need to get back into them and they've sat and stagnated for a while. Uh, and some of the other projects are, you know, coming and going bits and pieces as I acquire them. So, you know, don't worry, nothing's getting abandoned, nothing's getting lost, nothing's getting thrown out, nothing's getting forgotten about. It's just I figured, you know what, I've got this cool little mini, I want to do something unique with it. And the guys that have been following me on Facebook, you know, have noticed some of my posts saying, well, I want to do something unique with my mini, but what do I want to do? And we all know that uh, Fearless Front has built that sweet racer cart out of his. And it really is a go-kart, it's not a lawn tractor, not that I'm taking away from it, but it's a go-kart. And it's cool, and I thought about doing that. Um, you know, I've certainly got the parts for it. I've got a GX200 engine that I picked up recently that I came very close to putting in this thing. Uh, I know that Fearless, I believe, is working on an off-roader with his next Mini, and uh, you know, so are a couple of other guys I've seen come up. Um, Dan the Angry Modder is one of them. Um, if that's not your current YouTube channel name, I apologize. Um, these things I tend to forget, but uh, you know who you are, and pretty much so does everybody else. Um, so I thought about that. I thought about keeping the original transmission in and putting in a two-stroke Lawn Boy Duraforce 6.5 horsepower push mower engine that I have that I've always wanted to put in a project. And it's got to go in something fairly small and light because of the size and nature of it. It's 141 cc, six and a half horse at four grand. Um, it, it's just a little two-stroke and it's kind of cool. I want to put it in something but it didn't happen this time because this time I was looking for something unique to stick that diesel in. I was looking for a mini. The one came pretty much right after the other and I said hell with it. That's what I'm doing. So say hello to the diesel weasel and stay tuned. Till next time, take care of yourself.